All right, all right, all right. It's Tuesday, and we're getting closer to Dave untying the lines and hitting the high seas. I'm going to try to uh, videotape some of the ride. Maybe um, if I can get some signal, I'll stream a little bit. Um, so hit this subscribe and hit the bell, and um, you'll get notifications when I get some things up. Um, I have one crazy um, son of a gun coming with me, and um, if we don't kill each other or end up killing ourselves, should be uh, pretty entertaining. So... Um, like I said, uh, hit the subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get some of that action and um, hit the like. And um, yeah, we'll do our best to get uh, the, the uh, stream up and talk a little bit. I'm going to try to be trading from the water. Um, should It should work out. Looks like it's going to work out. So um, anyway, that being said, we should be looking at um, a very interesting stream um, today at 930 because uh, Psycho Trader is... Um, on the wrong side of the market, despite my uh, advice, and um, the market is up today. The um, ES is up. If you're looking at the chart right now, um, we got the ES, um, w which is um, the S&P 500 futures. Um, and here's the daily. It's just moving up, man. And this is just crazy, dude. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, look at all these green bars. And I keep holding out for a pullback. And, um, yeah, you know, that's a lot of days that I didn't have one of my strategies making money and I'm getting edgy. Um, and I want to put a trade on. And I know as soon as I put that trade on, that bad boy is going to turn around and just spank me. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I have a fear of missing out or if I have a, a psychology, um, a, a psycho issue, um, of not getting involved at this point, but I just can't get comfortable with those runs. So I guess I could just maintain that arrogance and, and let the market keep going. And when it pulls back, it goes. But I mean, it's at least five days of making money that I forewent. Um, and I don't like that. I mean, I'm not here to get um, poorer every day. I like to watch uh, my net worth um, expand um, each day. So, um, so anyway, that's the turmoil I'm in. But, uh, yeah, you know, we're just looking at an update. It's just pushing up, yeah, you know, and there's not much more I could really say in this uh, morning meeting. We're looking right here at uh, the 10 year and the 10 years pulling back. So it's just supporting the move up. And um, I think that the 10 year is going to come back and test my trend line. This is an um, bullish until breaking line. And if it uh, doesn't test uh, that trend line, if it comes back and tr test that trend line, it's just going to march that market up. And um, yesterday we, we had a, uh, a red finger right there. Um, so if today is a move up in the 10 year, which it's not, man, it's a move down. What time is it? Oh, um, the market opens in uh, two minutes, bond market. But um, if we get one, if it gives us the finger, then cool, it's going up. If we get a one red finger right here, then it may push up and bring uh, the S&P down and give me an opportunity to uh, set up some um, intermediate trades. And um, money, 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 money. But it um, doesn't look like it's going to be the case. But we'll hold out. I know that day is coming, man. So um, here's the SPX. And um, on the daily, dink, dink, dink. Still not good with these charts as far as uh, the borders go and, and things. But um, I mean, that's not a very strong bar, but it's a good consolidation. We made a little wick, but we still closed relatively close to the highs, showing strength. And it looks like today, I mean, as it stands, we're going to open up 10 points. So, from the close, and the high yesterday was 72, and the open was 53, so we're gonna, it's going to be an inside bar, but we're going to challenge that high. If we make another doji similar to this one, I mean, it, it, yo, I keep saying it, I'm tired of hearing myself speak, but I'm looking for that pullback. Um, that's the short of the long. Um, everything else is just kind of uh, churning around, not really doing anything. Um, you know my long-term deals. Uh, Tesla, man, it, th that was amazing. Amazing. Um, this guy's big doings. I would like to see him split this stock, you, you know, $1,000 a share. But it seems it's it, 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 it's a lot different than it was back um, when I was getting involved in the industry. Um, 
they used to split stocks uh, to make them more affordable. So really, everybody tried to maintain their stocks around the $40, $50 mark. Now, you, you know, um, um, consistent with our superficial society, uh, you know, big dollar stock is what attracts, you know, show that big dollar name. And um, everybody's um, attracted to that stock. But I mean, and if he did a two to one, it's still a $500 stock, you, you know. So, but I guess he's going to get a little recognition for a little while. Or maybe he wants to play in the big leagues with uh, like Amazon and Google. You know, it, it, only Berkshire Hathaway was like uh, a ridiculously uh, valued stock. And I think it was 20000 at the time. And I don't know what it is right now. I haven't looked at it, but I think it's uh, a lot more than that. But um, I guess Google and Amazon get a lot of attraction um, up in the uh, threes and, and twos. So, so I guess uh, Tesla will stay there. I mean, if his stock exceeds Amazon, that's more um, marketing power. So that's really what it appears to me, um, that they keep these big dollar amounts. It gives people something to talk about. And, uh, you, you know, you just draw an attention to your company, which, you know, when you have a public business, it's not bad to draw attention to yourself. Say the same thing for a gangster, and I don't think you're being a really good gangster. So, um, and then, uh, anyway, that's my list right there of all the uh, securities I like long term. Um, Bank of America, Disney, um, PPLT, still don't know the name, the Palladium Company, um, Physical Palladium. And these are uh, buy them and forget them situations. Uh, Viacom, I like around here. I'm looking for about 62. Verizon uh, pays um, close to five. I think it's uh, 484 at this price or somewhere around there. In the dividend, Exxon Mobil pays about uh, 6% dividend and they're always raising their dividends. I mean, Exxon Mobil, it's all about the dividend. And that's the point of these companies. You gain uh, capital appreciation, but they're constantly paying you out dividend. It's more conservative uh, positions and uh, that's the short of the long, ladies and germs. Um, and then when we come into January, I'll, I'll, I'll show you another program that I, that I do um, and uh, the setup for the year going forward. And these, this is all conservative stuff, kind of investing where you put your money. Um, yeah, you know, my aggressive stuff are my spreads, which is really more conservative um, than trading, but uh, more of a midterm kind of income generating um, strategy. And then um, my mad money are my directionals. And you guys see me do that from time to time. Yesterday, we had a real good directional. Um, I use uh, units of three, so I you know, invest in quantities that I could divide by three. I take one off. Um, when I hit one target, I take another off um, on my second target and then my third target. Sometimes my third target's a runner, and I get ridiculous uh, returns on it, and sometimes uh, I'm out at a break-even. Yesterday, we picked up about 500 a contract. So, you know, um, so basically uh, we hit 175, three and a quarter and 500. Um, and it just so happened to work out that, you, you know, um, we averaged, uh, if you did one contract, you averaged about $1,000. If you do 30 contracts, um, you average uh, $10,000. So, yeah, you're not a bad living for the day. Anyway, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I think, I don't know that we have any uh, news here that... Um, is of consequence um oh yeah yeah baby we got a little market move a home sales 10 o'clock we got home sales so try not to trade out in front of that 10 o'clock thing let it come out see what happens and it'll tell you which way is the market's going actually it looks like a good week durable goods i think that's going to be a, a big number um i think um everybody's going to want to look at that have an understanding of the economy inflation oh thursday we got gdp that's going to be an important quarter over quarter number um so people are going to be looking at that um and friday look at that man we this is a good week we got some catalysts out there this week um we got some catalysts and um, really what i'm looking for is something to knock the market down a little bit let's see what um everybody's focusing on on cnbc it's always good to look at the cnbc front page and you know what the general um um tone is for the market i mean don't buy the uh, articles it's all opinion pieces but um Everybody's getting into the uh, satellite in internet. All the big boys. All the big boys. Um, Verizon partners with Amazon. There you go, baby. See, 
you got to love it. I've been screaming Verizon. I mean, I didn't see this shit coming, but that's how it happens, man. You invest in good things. You wait, you take your time, and then you may get the home runs. You don't look for the home runs. You look for the home runs, you end up getting hurt. You know, you invest wisely, and by law of large numbers, you end up in good situations and little perks here and there that uh, help you advance your careers, you, you know? Um, Kathy Woods. She's at it again. She's actually a smart chick. I thought she would have fall, fallen off the uh, radar by now, but she's a smart chick. Looks a little strung out, though, huh? <laughs> Somebody buy her a burger. Um, Wall Street firms cut price targets for Facebook, but they're still bullish on the stock. Um, when you read an article like that, kind of tells me they're dumping the stock um, onto the retailers. They're getting out of it. Um, you know, and that gives them when the regulators say, hey, how come you're selling when you're, you're buying? They say, yeah, you know, they, they come up with their um, their little bullshit excuse. Although, you, you know, the, the, the Wall Street firms, the major firms are the regulators because it's a self-regulatory organization. Um, uh, Biden seems obliging, trying to get his bill passed. What I like about this guy is he could have invoked some executive orders and, and gotten documents on Trump. And I know Pelosi's uh, pushing him to do that. But the guy upholds the Constitution and won't abuse his power. And I respect that. I mean, I still think he's an empty suit, but um, um, I respect that he's not uh, the typical Democrat um, and abusive of power. Or I should say the typical politician and abusive of power, although he's a corrupt as a motherfucker. And if you think that um, his son didn't um, and he didn't make money um, um, selling services, you're blind, baby, you're blind. Stocks making the biggest move. UPS is good, delivers profits. Six good. It's always good to watch UPS and uh, FedEx and other shipping companies because you know money's moving around when uh, people are delivering. Um, Sudan's military has seized power in a coup. Who cares? Who cares? Slavery exists in Africa. We understand that, or at least educated people understand that. Um, it's not America. We don't tolerate it. Um, Biden has few options to combat surging prices. Well, bullshit, man. He could release, um, he could release, uh, the, 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 um, the oil stocks we have, um, for military. I mean, we don't use it. Everything's, um, nuclear anyway, as far as our, our defense, um, equipment wealth management booms yep that's uh guys like me telling people like you exactly what to do with their money even though we have no idea <laughs> hyperinflation warnings are totally ridiculous yet yeah, I, I that's kind of strong language man that's a bold statement this guy probably doesn't pay his bills either um I remember back in the day um, when I was running my companies, um, I didn't pay my bills either. And I had no idea what things cost. Um, and and I was amazed when I stepped back into the real world and, and started running, you know, my own life. Um, and, and I couldn't believe it. And I can't imagine how the average person actually survives um, based on like what milk. And, I mean, so figure um, it was 20 years. I never paid a bill, went food shopping. You, you know, I had people who took care of that. And, um, you, you know, then you jump back into the uh, into the world 20 years later and it, it, Yo, dude, it's eye-opening. So anyway, that's my spiel for the morning. Um, and remember, hit the subscribe and hit the bell and hit the like and uh, stop being a cheap bastard and hit up uh, my Patreon and, and, and PayPal and show a little support for the channel. Um, and I, I jest, man. As long as you join me and add some comments, that's really all I need. It's just fun to be um, nasty. <laughs> um, so um, just remember, like right now, Turn everything off, chill out, calm down, do a little meditation. When you're trading, you should be at peace. Join me at 9 o'clock or 9.30 and good luck trading.